Hello and welcome to my first video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate the Zoom integration with your WordPress website. Uh, I see there are a lot of videos on YouTube, but most of them are outdated. So I thought, why not remake the complete video and make sure to watch the complete video from start to end because you know even if you miss a bit of the video uh, then the whole process may not work so make sure to watch piece by piece and as you are you know proceeding in the video make sure to you know uh, do all the steps on your own website so obviously even before we begin we need to install the plugin uh, so this process is quite simple just search for zoom and once you, once you see this plugin you have to install this one okay so i'm going to activate this you see uh, the plugin is activated now we need to go to the settings of this particular plugin so let's click on settings you see in order for this plugin to work we need these three uh, things at least and we are also going to integrate these two uh, api credentials app credentials so the difference is uh, these are necessary things for the plugin to work and if we want to embed the zoom directly into our website for that reason we we'll use the sdk app credentials so let's go ahead and generate those credentials okay so in order to uh, generate those credentials you have to go to marketplace.zoom.us and you have to log in with your zoom account obviously so I'm already logged in so I do not need to do that again and the next thing is you have to click on develop and select build app here you can you know uh, you have to first of all generate the OAuth uh, make sure this is server to server so I'm going to click on create here you're going to name the the app uh, I'm going to name it WordPress zoom but you can name it anything you want so let's just create this one okay it's still loading you see we got app credentials but that's not all uh, we need some more things uh, before this thing would be working perfectly so first of all let's add some information here let's click on information and there you put uh, any description so here I'm going to say like I'm using the zoom plugin and here I'm going to write down a is a company you can write down anything you can write your company name or anything and here just so I'm putting a dummy email there but obviously you will have to put your own email let's continue okay that's fine now the scopes uh, this is one of the most important things if you do not add the scope the app is not going to work so I'm going to add scope you have to be very careful about you know the scopes because if because if you make a mistake here uh, then there could be problems uh, in the security of the app so first of all you have to click on this one view and manage the sub account user meetings uh, and view a, and manage all user meetings and finally view uh, I have to, to recall that view and manage okay uh, view all user meetings so once we do that the next thing we have to do is webinar and in the webinar uh, we have uh, you know we need three permissions first is view and manage all this and this and then the recording make sure uh, all of them are checked then go to user and make sure all of them are checked and then you need to go to report and make sure all of them are checked and I believe these are all the permissions that you need uh, for the app to work so let's click on done and click continue and just activate your app now we are going to you know copy all the credentials so let's just copy 
these credentials and paste it back into the app copy it and then this one the secret copy this one and paste it there and that's all uh, you have to hit save and your zoom app should be working now the next thing that we have to do is to uh, install these credentials these are sdk app credentials so let's move on and install those uh, remaining credentials again we are going to repeat the process you have to click on develop and build app and this time we are going to you know develop the meeting sdk so click on create this one here again name your app and I'm going to name it Zoom WordPress SDK but you can name it anything you want and make sure not to publish that to marketplace and click create and again you have to repeat the process so But I don't know anything because it doesn't matter and then in the company name you have to put any name so I'm going to put in OS Reza Consultancy there I have to put in the name that is OS Reza and again I'm going to put a dummy email but make sure you, you, you know add your actual email there and let's continue and the next thing that we have to do is you have to select web from there click continue and just copy this one and again copy this thing and let's save okay you see like uh, we see new options once once we do that it means everything should be working okay so we'll, now we are going to move on and add our first meeting uh, so the process is simple we are going to click on add new uh, name it anything you want like meet weekly meeting for members and then select the time and you know select the time zone select the duration and if you want to you know have a password just you know show password there then these are some of the settings and not only I enable the, the audio recording and now just hit publish okay now you should be able to see the meeting you see like it shows the countdown and other options uh, I'm the host so I can start the meeting but obviously this doesn't look good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this on a page uh, we have two options to do that first of all Uh, we have to copy the short code okay just re reload the page okay we see the short code once we click there it's copied now I can go to any of the pages and I can name it anything you want this is a page either you can use Gutenberg and you know you can add a block there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a short code instead publish and when we click on view page then we see the code down and everything uh, on a page we can you know add the short code in Elementor we can add the short code in in any page builder that we want